Hello, and welcome to your St. John Narana midweek message for this week. I've been doing some different things lately, and this is more of the traditional one that I think uh, long-time viewers of this series have come to expect. It's Christmas Eve as I record this, and Peggy and Reuben and Gabe have headed off to Loon Lake to visit with Peggy's mother. The boys are going to see their grandmother. And I'm here in the house all by myself. Well, not quite all by myself. There are two cats around here somewhere. Arnie, Mac, where are you? The reality is that holidays are a mixed thing. Very often, there are people missing from the table. And that's why we had the Blue Christmas service recently, which was a wonderful experience, I think, for myself and for those who said that it was for them. A recognition that there is a lot of things going on in life, that we don't always have the hallmark Disney version of Christmas. Sometimes it can be lonely. But the message of the season is that God is here. Christ is come. You and I are not alone. We are in the embrace of the one who loves us more than anyone here ever could. The one who knows us completely, intimately. The one who values humanity so much that it was decided to become human. So in this season, celebrate as best you can. Spend time with those you love as much as you can. And realize that that's what this was about. God spending time with us. The divine having the experience of being human. That's the great miracle. And I've said before that Christmas is a relatively minor holiday in the, in the season of the church year compared to Easter. But there's another side of that, in that there is no Easter without Christmas. There is no death, resurrection, and ascension without the incarnation, without God taking on flesh and becoming one of us. It is a great miracle. And people celebrate in different ways, and some, some people don't understand or don't participate in the meaning of the season as taught by the church. But there is something about this season, about God with us, about that holy presence that breaks in and breaks through and breaks down our resistance. People just seem a little nicer sometimes at Christmas. Doors are held more often. People are let in line ahead of you more often. People pay at the checkout counter for the person behind them more often. And what's not to celebrate about that? Because the great commandment is love one another as I have loved you. Let's be in person, incarnate, in the body for one another. Because we are the body of Christ. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.